Hi there learners and welcome to our next video where we're talking about profit but now we've moved on from the RAND value we are moving on to percentage profit now building on from the previous example remember I bought a product for 500 RAND that was my cost price I sold that for 750 RAND that was my selling price so I made a profit of 200 RAND but I want to express that as a percentage so how am I going to do that? Well, one of the first, th first things that we actually remember is the fact that if I have two numbers and I want to express it as a percentage, what do I end up doing? I divide the two, multiply it by 100, and I end up with an answer in a percentage. Okay, so we're going to do exactly the same thing. But what are we going to divide? What are we going to multiply by 100 in order to get our percentage? Well, what we need to do is take whatever our profit is and we're going to divide that by the cost price. Now, do we have those figures? Yes, we do. What are those figures? There's my profit. 200 rand. What is my cost price? What did I buy it for? 500 rand. So I'm taking my 200, I'm going to divide it by 500 that should be about 0 0.4. I'm going to multiply that by 100 and I'm ending up with a 40% profit. Now, here's another way of doing it. Let's take this as an example. You bought a product for 800 Rand. You then sold that product for 1,200 Rand. So you maybe bought a pen a phone, something, but you bought it at 800 Rand, you sold it for 1,200 Rand, and they tell you to calculate the percentage profit. So what you can do, again, slightly differently to what I showed you earlier, is for you to use this formula. We can take our selling price, subtract that from the cost price, and divide it from the cost price. And then whatever our answer is there, we're going to multiply it by 100 in order to get our percentage. So, do we have the figures? Yes, we do. We've got 1,200 minus 800. Remember the 1,200, our selling price. 800, our cost price. We're going to divide that by 800. And what do we end up with? If we do that calculation, we multiply it by 100. We should end up with 50 percent profit. 